Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Mayank. I'm a student at HEC Paris majoring in marketing. Since pretty much the beginning of the semester, except for the first two weeks or so, I've been having my classes completely online. And you know what? It's actually not half as bad as I thought it would be, especially since I still live on campus and so do many of my classmates. In the second part of this video, I'm going to talk a bit more about that. In the first part of the video, I'm going to give you some tips and advice on how I make the most of my online class experience and how you can too, whether you're living on a college campus or not. So my first advice would be to keep a dedicated, comfortable workspace for all of your classes and your work. Set up a comfortable space with a desk and a chair with all of your stationery and books at easy reach and make it look personal and aesthetic. This will make you respect the space a lot more and feel a lot happier while sitting in it. Put up photos, souvenirs, books, cards, quotes or plants, whatever you like and whatever you're close to. Arrange your lighting in a way that is functional but also pleasing. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in this office so it better be a very pleasant place to stay. You can see my video on the Zoom desk setup that I have going on to see how I've set up my space for this year. The second advice that I have to give you is keep your webcam on. In an online class, if you keep your webcam off, there's really no incentive for you to really pay attention to what the instructor is saying or even sit in front of the computer at all. And for the instructor, he or she does not know whether you're listening and for them, you may as well not be there even. Moreover, if you're in a class when nobody's keeping their webcam on, it's not a fun experience for anyone involved. You may as well be watching a YouTube or an Instagram live session, like there's no difference at all. In all of my classes, we all keep our webcam on and this makes the classes feel a lot more like an interactive class-like session. Since we can all see each other, we can notice each other's hairstyles and backgrounds and clothes and we can also see how people are reacting to what somebody said. It feels a lot more like an actual class. And you know, one of my friends mentioned to me that this is actually a lot better than an actual class because now you can actually see each other's faces and not just your backs. This actually helps us recognize each other's faces a bit more. But yeah, I highly, highly recommend keeping your webcam on in all of your Zoom calls, whether it's classes, group project meetings, seminars, whatever it is. The next advice I can give you is to unmute yourself and ask questions to the teacher. If your instructor's okay with it, which I guess most instructors are, instead of sending questions in the chat, consider unmuting your microphone and actually asking the question to the teacher directly. This feels a lot more personal. The teacher or instructor or speaker will notice you much better and associate a face with the question asked. The teacher, I'm sure, will also appreciate it a lot more. And you know what? This helps it feel a lot more like a conversation. Essentially, you want it to feel more two-way rather than just one way. I always do this whenever it's appropriate and so do many of my classmates and I feel like that contributes a lot into it feeling like an actual class. The next advice I can give you is consider investing in some tech or accessories. One thing that really upgrades your Zoom experience is to have a dedicated external monitor. I use a 1440p 27 inch monitor, but even a basic Full HD monitor will still make a huge difference to your Zoom experience. If a monitor is really out of your budget, I would recommend at least getting a laptop stand, something that's gonna elevate your laptop and get an external keyboard and mouse. This helps keep things ergonomic, view your screen at eye level, and this is much more comfortable when you're sitting down for long sessions. Also, make sure that the webcam and mic on your laptop work well. And if not, consider investing in an external microphone and speakers, especially if you're in a lot of interactive sessions where you're gonna be talking a lot. It really makes the experience much better for everybody else. Using a headset does the trick too, but when you're sitting down for six to eight hours every day, wearing a headset in your ears gets really tiring really quickly. In my case, I use this external USB condenser mic as well as a pair of budget Logitech speakers and this makes a huge difference since I don't have to wear a headset the entire day. An iPad with an Apple Pencil is also a good investment, especially if many of your courses require a lot of handwriting and drawing figures or equations or stuff like that. An iPad makes it easy to share your handwritten work with your peers and your instructors. Have another spot in your room to really relax and take breaks in. Since most of our entertainment these days is digital, it becomes really easy to basically be spending the entire day at your desk, whether you're attending classes, studying, watching TV, eating your food, basically doing everything at your desk. And this can really cause a lot of fatigue and make things feel very monotonous. So in my room, I have this chair where I sit down and read books, text my friends, watch YouTube videos, watch Netflix on my iPad. Basically, I sit there to do anything other than attending classes. I still sit at my desk, I mean, I'm not completely religious about it, but it feels good to have a separate space in my room where I can really chill in. Speaking of breaks, 
make sure to remember to take time off of your computer or your phone. Like I said, it's very easy to spend the entire day at your desk in front of a screen, whether it's your computer or your phone, with almost every aspect of life being online now. It's important to take out time to go out for a walk or for a run. Spend some time playing an instrument or painting or drawing or basically doing anything that does not involve a screen. Or even just sitting with a cup of coffee or a meal without a screen in front of you. Or reading an actual book. Yes, that's still a thing that people do. Two of my favorite ways of taking a screen break are playing the guitar and cooking. I play the guitar between classes and also before sleeping at night and I cook my own dinner almost every single day. Make sure that your entire day is not screen time because this is a recipe for disaster you're gonna get really really tired if you do this lastly i would say make an effort to get to know your classmates you can dedicate 10 minutes at the starting of every group project meeting to just talk about your day ask your teammates about their cat ask them what they're up to in their free time ask them if everything's going all right just because things are online does not mean that you can't get personal I would also recommend setting up regular Zoom calls where three to five people get together, have a drink and just chat about life. You can do this in a group or you can do this even one-on-one. -on -one. At my previous internship at Mac Cosmetics, we used to do this every single Thursday with all five of us in the team. Me, the intern, two coordinators and two managers. We would each get a drink, either a beer or a wine or just a tea and just chat with each other for an entire hour. And at the end of the hour, I would play them a song on my guitar. This really helped us bond with each other and kept things a lot more interesting at work. In this section, I'm gonna briefly talk about my experience with online life at HEC Paris. Honestly, like I said in the beginning, things are actually not nearly as bad as I thought that they would be. Especially since I live on campus and so do many of my classmates. First, let me talk about classes. Even though all classes are online, they still feel like classes. They're all interactive. We ask questions to the instructor and to each other. We answer questions asked by the instructor. We answer polls, we take notes. And we do this all by talking and not by just typing in the chat box, for the most part. In some ways, it's even cooler now because we get a lot more interesting guest speakers coming in. Since there's no geographical constraint anymore, it's much easier for people to say yes to speaking assignments for us. And all of those sessions are usually very interactive. That means we get to ask questions and we get to have a conversation, which is super cool. Next up are the group projects. All of our group projects are on Zoom. And this isn't too different than it was when I was working at Mac Cosmetics earlier in the first confinement. It works really well too with collaborative features on tools like Notion and Google Docs, as well as the ability to share your screen with Zoom. We schedule our meetings with Google or Outlook Calendar, and this makes sure that everyone in different time zones are all very clear about when the meeting is. Networking and socializing. I think this one's taken a bit of a hit. I'm of course still socializing with classmates that still live on campus, but with those that have left to go back home, it's a bit more challenging to socialize with them. There are still some online student networking events that take place at HEC. I've had two of them where we all get on a Zoom call, like a hundred of us, and we're broken up into different breakout rooms, and the breakout room switch every 10 to 15 minutes. This was a great way for me to meet a couple of new people. Job fairs and company events are now all online. And these vary from being interactive sessions where we all have a camera on and we can actually talk to one-sided presentations where the questions are asked via chat. It's still totally possible to network with recruiters at these events. There's opportunities to get on one-on-one -on -one calls and even in the other interactive sessions, if you just have the courage to unmute your mic and actually talk, you can actually make a connection with them. And you know what? It's not too different from going up to somebody at a networking event and starting a conversation with them. So yeah, I hope this video gave you my perspective on online classes and what I do to make my experience better, as well as a brief glimpse into online student life at HEC Paris. If you have any questions about my current experience, about what it's like to be an online student but lives on campus or even an online student in general, feel free to write them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading a lot more content just like this. See you guys in the next one.